Nova Academies have a very ambitious approach which looks towards the future. It's not just a matter of graduating the pupils and the students to the next stage. Asks the question, what will they become in future in the, in the context of a global society? Because here we look at education for life. Kenya has a lot of great schools, but Nova wants to go even beyond what today's great schools are doing by developing and training students who are going to shape the world of tomorrow. To do that, they need to be innovators first and foremost. And our students will become innovators by practicing building things from scratch. Whether that's a robot or whether that's a business, they are going to have that experience during school of building something from nothing. They also need to be leaders. And to be a leader, you need to have the experience of serving others and putting your skills toward a greater purpose, whether that's through a community service project or whether that's by taking on a leadership role in the school so that you're not just a participant in the school, but a leader of the school community. We want our learners to be innovators, to be entrepreneurs, and to start that thought process even while they're in school. And NOVA offers opportunities for the discovery and the unfolding of all these talents while they're in school. Most education today is focused on having young people memorize facts and pass exams. That knowledge they're learning is important, but it's only a tiny fraction of what they need to be innovators and leaders. Too many education organizations today are preparing young people to be takers, to take the same ideas that others have created before them and do them in exactly the same way, to take the technologies and the, the processes that have failed our communities and our countries for so long, to take orders from those around them and those above them. At Nova Academies, we're preparing young people to be shapers, to shape totally new ideas that will help to solve the problems that are facing the world today, to shape their own path rather than follow just in the footsteps of others, and to shape the companies, the organizations, and the governments that are going to truly determine the future of Africa.